John from the HR News Desk. Welcome. What's been happening in the HR News this week? Well, we have some extremely interesting stories about the new generation of people coming through. But what does that mean for us in HR? And also, what does that mean for us in leadership terms? Number one, from an HR point of view, many organisations are saying to us, actually, it's hard to get talent, really good people. How can we get them? How can we keep them? So, what are we missing out on? Is it, number one, that we don't understand them quite yet? Because they're quite new, maybe we don't know exactly what they want. Or is that the issue? Is it that, in fact, our corporate structures and our HR processes aren't ready yet? They haven't adapted fast enough to meet these changing needs. Now, of course, some organisations are brilliant at this. High-tech firms are great at kind of doing this stuff really well. And some of the bigger organisations are very good too. But, how, when we're a little bit smaller, how can we handle these new people? How can we understand them better and how can we adapt, both from a leadership point of view and an HR point of view? We know two or three things. Number one, they are different to who, what has gone before, for sure. But in what ways? That is loving technology, social media switched on very familiar with all the technology tools that are available. So all the software comes is almost born doing it. So what is important from an HR point of view? Number two is they want flexibility. The stiffness and restrictiveness of corporate working doesn't sit well in a strong work-life balance. However, we need to be therefore more flexible in the way that we present our employment offer, but also in the way that we structure people inside organisations. Increased mobile working means we have to manage people in very different ways. Number three, autonomy. People love autonomy. That crops up in other motivational theories, but I think for our new generation, millennials, generation Y, Z, whatever you want to call them, actually this is critical for their engagement and motivation. So, we need to adapt a lot faster, get a lot better to our new audience. Otherwise, it's going to get harder and harder to find really good talent. What does this mean from a leadership and management point of view? Because, of course, HR has a huge impact here in terms of how we focus development and what is reflected in our, for example, competency and behavioural requirements. So as leaders and managers, what's definitely important is high levels of engagement, which means people skills are critical, absolutely critical. The management style and leadership style with strong direction, but very hands off, so people can have room to grow and develop, but do their own thing on the projects that they really enjoy working for. Now, of course, there are things not everybody likes doing, but people want to work in their own particular way, sometimes at their own particular time. So this flexibility is something that we have to accept and deal with from a management and leadership point of view. Now, in the news this week, there was an absolutely classic case of delegation gone wrong. The Monarch Airline, who gave uh, to their uh, advertising agency the responsibility to put out an ad for a plane builder, which ended up saying, no experience required. <laughs> what does that say to you? Delegation gone wrong. Now, this is one of the absolutely critical skills in leadership and management for a new generation because they want to be managed very hands-off, but in a very intelligent style. So, what do we need to do? What do we need to create? Absolutely, we need to create some and adapt some new processes and ways of working in our organisation which matches their needs. Secondly, that flexibility, I think, is absolutely critical. And we need to adapt pretty quickly, or we're going to miss out on a huge, huge talent pool. Have a good week and see you soon. John at Thinking HR.